The ST Turex from Singapore represents a significant change in the design of armored vehicles seen worldwide today. The retirement of large, heavy, and costly tanks is giving way to more agile, lighter, and modular wheeled designs. The gap between the infantry fighting vehicle IFV, and the armored personnel carrier APC, is now being filled by the armored combat vehicle ACV, which offers a balanced combination of crew-slash-passenger protection, strong firepower, and effective troop transport capabilities. The ST Turex from Singapore embodies this shift and introduces a modern aspect to the Singapore Armed Forces. Development of the Turex, as a private venture project, commenced in the late 1990s, leading to the presentation of a prototype vehicle as early as 2001, designated as the AV-81. After several design adjustments, the vehicle re-emerged in 2004, representing its more or less finalized form. The design process was a collaboration between ST Engineering, Singapore, and Timoni Technology LTD, Ireland, with production starting in 2006 involving ST Engineering in Odokar, Turkey. The Turex has found its place in the active army inventories of both Singapore and Turkey, since 2017, with the latter designating the vehicle as the AV-82. The Turex stands at a height of 6.10 feet, measuring 23 feet in length and 8.9 feet in width. It has a weight of 55,000 pounds. Its dimensions allow for air transport within the cargo hold of a Lockheed C-130 Hercules or a similar fixed-wing transport aircraft. Inside, the vehicle accommodates a standard crew of two, driver and vehicle commander, and can carry up to 12 combat-ready infantry personnel. The armor provides protection against small arms fire, typically 7.62 mm, and shell fragments, with optional add-on armor for enhanced defense. Smoke grenade launchers enable self-concealment. The Turex is propelled by an American Caterpillar C9 inline-6 diesel engine generating 400 horsepower, achieving speeds of up to 70 miles per hour and a range of 500 miles. The suspension system is an 8x8 hydropneumatic double wishbone setup that ensures excellent off-road mobility, with the front two axles being steerable. The Turex ICV boasts inherent amphibious capabilities, facilitated by water jets located at the lower rear of the hull. The primary armament consists of a CIS-40 automatic grenade launcher AGL, paired with a 7.62mm machine gun in a coaxial configuration, both controlled from a remote weapon station RWS, within the vehicle. Additional machine guns can be mounted on the rear of the whole roof for added defense. Occupants can also use personal weapons for protection. The crew benefits from complete 360-degree situational awareness thanks to an array of cameras, and the all-digital control suite is seamlessly integrated into the Singapore Armed Forces existing battle space network. The vehicle includes a comprehensive NBC, nuclear biological chemical, protection suite to guard against various airborne threats. Externally, the Turex presents a mostly conventional appearance with eight well-spaced road wheels arranged across four axles. The wheels have run-flat capabilities, and the chassis affords excellent ground clearance and blast protection against mines and other hidden hazards due to its V-shaped hull design. The front glassy plate is nearly vertical, offering basic ballistic protection. The driver's position is on the front left, and the engine is on the right, allowing the rear section of the hull to house the passenger compartment. Access hatches along the hull roof and a powered rear door facilitate crew and occupant entry and exit. Beyond its service in the Singapore Armed Forces, the impressive Turex is being considered for the United States Marine Corps, USMC, Marine Personnel Carrier, MPC, Program and the Australian Army's Land 400 Program. Its versatility positions it for various battlefield roles beyond troop transport, including anti-tank guided missile, ATGM, carrier, mortar carrier, medevac, rapid reconnaissance, fire support, local air defense, and command and control, C2.